Lunchtime service on leg two of Rally Australia. We've done the monster Nambucca stage and then a shorter nine kilometre stage before this service. Adrian Coppin, a much better day for you than yesterday. Yeah, that's right, Dino. We've had a, um, a pretty good morning. All in all, we went out uh, in the Nambucca stage, fried the tyres, unfortunately about 20k in, but just managed them to the finish. Um, it was just losing so much power and traction. It was just wheel spin everywhere, but um, had a good little run through that short little stage at the end there. And um, yeah, look, you know, for me, it's just about now getting back in the groove and just trying to finish the rally and just some more bumming seat time. Tony Sullins, the mark on the front there. You're delivering uh, some post today, apparently. Well, nearly. <laughs> <laughs> we just gently pushed it up against the fence so it wouldn't fall over. I think the post was rotted at the bottom anyway, so. <laughs> you smacked into a post box. You just overshot uh, only about four corners into that 9K stage. Yeah, yeah. Just probably a little bit over exuberant in cold tyres, and I thought, oh, whoop, 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 can't quite stop. And instead of doing some damage, I just thought we'll pull up. And, you know, stalled fifth gear back to first and back back and all that sort of stuff so we probably lost 15 seconds I reckon on that stage so we were a little bit unsure in that second uh, run through on the, the second shorter stage but we had a look at the time after the end of it, it wasn't that bad so um, we just felt like that we weren't actually getting some drive and some traction from the front so um, we'll have a bit of a play and a fiddle with some suspension changes and go from there. The tyre pressures came up a fair bit in the first one so we started them a little bit low as well so maybe that had something to do with it um, but haven't had a chat to the other guys yet to see if they were in the same boat but um, yeah no real dramas at this point in time. Over fueling run, it's just a bit flat up top, it won't idle again but uh, we will, if we can't solve it at the service, we'll just battle on again. And uh, look, look, other than that, I don't have any real issues. Um, yeah. Is that problem a bit of a game changer, or it's just something you've got to manage? It's not ideal, but it's not a, not going to cause you too many dramas. I'm hoping it's not going to cause too many dramas, do you know? But uh, yeah, no, it's not really a game changer or anything. We just stick to our plan, and yeah, we're still plugging along. And we talk tyres a lot in that long stage, mate. And you're just telling me about a little trick you had there to use some tyres as your spares from yesterday to keep your count about right. Yeah, look, we're probably six short of where we, you know, the perfect world. So, you know, we'd love to have 30, but we've only got 24. So um, it's a matter of uh, conserving and managing the tyres from yesterday. So we actually ran um, two tyres from yesterday in the boot for, uh, for the long one and then put them on uh, pretty worn ones for Vela. So we, you know, we dropped probably half a second a K to Brendo, but, you know, we're still in the hunt today and we're, and we're obviously a long way ahead for the rally. Uh, Brendo has got you on those two stages, yep. but... It looks like you've taken the approach to go, look, we'll go at the speed we know is comfortable. We've got a whole rally to think about here. Oh, well, Brendo has to go fast. You know, he has to get some points back. And in reality, it's three points, you know, so we're not going to risk uh, throwing it off the road for, for three points. He's, he's driving very well. He's been fast on those stages last year. So, you know, we, we knew we, we were going to be up against it. Two stages, two wins, exactly what you got to do. Yeah, it's a great start, Dino. And look, having a lot of fun. That second stage battle there was just awesome. That's what we come here for. Had a great time. The car really felt in its own land there. It just gripped up well. It was loving the camber of the roads and the switches. There was plenty of tarmac and lots of spectators, which we love. Um, you took off almost quite quickly after the long stage because you had a high uh, oil temperature potential. That obviously hasn't proved to be any issue for you. Yeah, I spoke to the boys after that stage and that was completely fine. Uh, we're going to take that warning away from it so it doesn't come up again. It's just something that I noticed through the stage. It come up quite a few times and you now as a driver you start to get worried but we pushed on and, and it didn't come up in the shorter stage so we'll get rid of that now. Uh, we've got quite a few tyres to play with, us missing yesterday afternoon so we'll probably go with four new ones for these next couple of stages and just keep pushing on, try and get the leg win for today. I know Scotty's pushing and we are but we're having lots of fun too.